Hey, how are you doing? Well, good morning. I think you guys picked a beautiful day to have a garage sale. Well, the neighborhood did it, not us. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's way prettier than it was last weekend. I believe it. It's actually tolerable to sit out here and last It was cooking, right? Yeah. Like, the morning was a fine bed. When it got to the afternoon, it was like, oh my god, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do these two things here. Okay, cool. There you go. Thank cool. you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You guys have a good day. You too. Good morning. How are you? Uh, nice. Need some help with that? Please. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Wherever you drop it, it's fine. All right, no problem. Uh oh. You have to hit the remote. <laughs> right there's fine? That's fine. Awesome. No problem. Pero yo
<laughs> I think I'm ready to I'm trying to get more help. Ready to cash out on these two. Do you happen to have the wheels for these anymore? Oh, I guess not. No? I, yeah, I don't I don't know anything about those. It's alright, no problem. Yes. I'll take those. Do you, do you guys be putting out any like sports cards or video games today? Someone else asked me about video games. I have some, but they're in the bottom of this box that I haven't gotten to. Out. Okay. I was it just takes so long to get this stuff out. Here. No, I believe it. So I told him he could come back and I'll probably, you know, in a few hours and I might because I keep trying to pull, pull stuff out as you go. Yeah, so. Cool. Was that uh, 25 cents? Or no, this is on the dollar, the dollar? rack over okay, here. So yes, ma'am. $3? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank cool. you. Cool. No problem. I make all of this worth something. <laughs> This is too much. It will be to somebody, so oh just keep God. keep on bringing it out. I'll circle back around. Okay, so thank you. What, what, you got the GoPro? On? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh. So have you ever seen like American Pickers? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. basically, what I do, I just okay. go to garage sales, look for stuff online, okay. and just post them on YouTube. Okay. Cool. That's cool. awesome. All thank right. you. All right. Thank you.
Oh, cool. Let's see what the ass is, what you got, what you got. There's a little room here. There you go. Let's see what you... See, you can see what you're talking about. Okay. Cool, well, thank you. I would say these are what I'd be interested in here. Okay. What are you asking for on them? What you, what you? I could probably do like two bucks each for the older games. These old Xbox games. And these two are newer, so I could probably do three bucks on those. Uh, so you can get much more than that, so I can't go. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah he got a group of them. <laughs> he just pulled them. He said, yeah, and he got them all separated, too. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> well, then that's fair. I appreciate you bringing them out. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Coast Corner. This is a channel all about reselling. I hope you guys enjoyed that garage sale footage we just went through. It was a very light day with a lot of strikeouts, so we won't bore you with all the garage sales. But we do want to go over a couple of things that we did pick up today, just so you guys can see what kind of things we sell online, mostly on eBay, some on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so we went to one garage sale, and they had their shoes and jeans really low price. So I bought this pair of jeans for a dollar. They're called the Limited Denim Slim Girlfriend. So I'll do some more research. I'm trying to get more into women's clothing because there's a large market for that. But I don't know anything about it. So for a dollar, that's a really low point of entry to try out another jean company. Well, I keep trying to learn what sells best. At that same Grosso, I picked up this pair of Heelys. Unfortunately, they do not have the wheels. But doing research on Heelys, they are selling for about $20 to $30 online plus shipping. So for two bucks, I think if we sell it on the lower end for about $15, $20, we're still going to make a good profit on these, even though they don't have the wheels. All right, at another show we went to, I saw this Sony the PS2 network adapter. It's actually sealed new in the box. I did some research on it while I was at the garage sale. I scanned the barcode on the eBay app to see what they were going for. All of them were new, but open, and they were all selling for about $15 to $20. So I'm thinking being new sealed, I can probably sell those for about $25 plus shipping. The cool thing is when he saw this, I told him I was just looking for video games. He had one Super Nintendo game called Sniper Scope 6. This one, I actually have in my personal collection already with a beat up label. So I might actually just update my personal collection with this one. And then my beat up copy, I'll put that for sale. It only sells for about $10. So it won't be a huge profit, but I paid five for both. So we are gonna be making a little bit of money on that. Another item I bought, another garage sale, was this model car for 75 cents. And then it's actually still in my truck, but you guys saw me pick up that little Lego thing there at that same garage sale. The only reason I bought that is because they were asking for 75 cents or a dollar for it. And it actually had a Han Solo miniature figure, which is probably what the most value is for that. So I'm going to just hang on to that. I want to collect a couple more minifigures. And then sell them all is a lot because those do very well. But as far as this, I've had a lot of luck with these in the past. All of it is brand new, still in the package. Nothing's even been ripped up on this so other than the seal so i can sell this for a new open box and based off of this model what i'm seeing online it looks like i can sell it for about 20 to 25 dollars free shipping is pretty light so we'll probably pay about six seven bucks for shipping so we're probably going to make around 15 dollars off this 75 cent purchase all right the last thing we bought this weekend uh, this guy offered me three bucks for this random box of crap there's three turtle beach headsets that are all ripped 
Apparently his kid rages a lot when he plays video games. So I'm going to look them up and see if I can sell them all for parts. I'm not sure what the market is on those, but they're three of the exact same headset, all broken around the wiring. So hopefully I can get rid of these, make a profit on them and move on from there. Looking at them again, it doesn't look like any of these are salvageable. I would have worn them myself and just super glued them if I thought I could fix them. But that does not seem to be the case. And the only thing that I saw that I really wanted was this cord for an old iPod charger. And if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I found that iPod Nano. I still have no idea if it works or not, so I haven't put it for sale. So this isn't gonna be the opportunity to plug it in, charge it, and test to see if it works. All right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. It was a very light week. I really think everybody's gearing up for the holidays. So typically around this time of the year, we start going to more thrift stores where people are just dropping stuff off and donating versus garage sales. So you guys might see a lot more footage of what I purchased at, at, at thrift stores like Texas Thrift, Goodwill, etc. But thank you guys so much for hanging out on another video. If you're new, you liked it, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when we release more videos. But other than that, guys, enjoy your week and peace and love.